maker in the world. It would cost about $20,000 to put back then. Today, it is worth about $7 billion. Okay. The type of telescope it is, it is a 24-inch refracting telescope. That means, it's the very, very, very front of the telescope, there are two 24-inch lenses in diameter. Those two lenses are separated by about 4 inches. So, you got the lens at the top of the telescope. We wanted to look at the planet Jupiter. The light from the planet Jupiter would pass through the lenses. The lenses would then bend the light. The light would come to one single point right here. And this is where we look through the telescope. Now, of course, nowadays you don't look through telescopes for research. You have a camera connected to it. Now, this is the telescope that we do view through with the public. And tonight at 8 o'clock, we'll open up. Possibly give you guys a chance to look through this telescope. Now, we don't do research with it anymore because of the light pollution. But we do allow you a chance to Let's say we actually wanted to use the telescope. Say it was dark outside and we wanted to view through it. What do you think we would do first? Open the dome. Open the roof, I guess. Gotta open up the dome. If you don't open up the dome, you can't see out. So, you got four big black doors. Each one of those doors weigh about 500 pounds a piece. The top two open up with ropes and pulleys. The front two open up with airplane landing gears. Now, of course, 1896, were there airplanes? No. No. So, of course, the landing gears were added quite a few years later. So, let's go ahead and use our imagination. Dome is open, okay? What do you think we need to do next? Commonly forgotten step, but very, very important. What do we do next? Take the lens cap off. Yes. we got to take the lens cap off. Thank you. I'm glad you guys mentioned that. So, I need a volunteer to climb up to the top of the telescope and take off the dust cover. No sweat. I'm joking. <laughs> It's 32 feet long, and the dust cover's up there. Well, the original way that they took out the dust cover were two big guys. They'd flip a coin, and whoever lost the coin toss got to climb up this wobbly wooden ladder, this wobbly wooden platform, and then the other guy would hook the telescope up to that platform, and that's how they took out the dust cover back then. In the 1960s, NASA was using this telescope here to map the moon for the Apollo mission. All the original lunar landing site maps were made here using this telescope. Well, NASA did not like the way we took off our dust cover. So they gave us much easier way to do it. There's too much light. Flip the switch, head on, there's the dust cover. There it is. Lazy. Lazy. So it's safer, lazier, and quicker. All right? So let's go and use our imaginations a little bit more. Pretend the dome is open. Pretend that the dust cover is off. The next thing we need to do is position the telescope. Now, everything here on Earth is laid out coordinates. Longitude and? Latitude. Latitude. Everything in the night sky is also laid out in coordinates. Those coordinates are right ascension and declination. Right ascension is east-west. Declination is north-south. So if you want to look at Jupiter, you would look at Jupiter's right ascension declination, excuse me, and move the telescope to those coordinates. Well, today we've got computers, computers connected to telescopes, we type in the coordinates, coordinates to the computer for the scope. This telescope, of course, you didn't have any IMAX or PCs back then. So, how do we move the telescope? Well, we're going to the original way. Unlatch the rope, unlock the brake, <laughs> and push. Now, I don't lift weights, all right? So how can I move a two-ton telescope? Imagine we're counterbalance. We got two tons of weights sticking out on this arm. We got two tons of weights sticking out on this side of the arm. They counterbalance each other, which allows me to push and pull the telescope to virtually look at almost any part of the night sky that I would like to look at. Now, let's say we want to load right about there. What do we need to do now? Rotators. Okay. In their front window, they had a motto. And their motto was menders and makers of anything. First of all, I got a kick out of that. It says, hey guys, how are you going to build this? They go, all right, give us some money. So first of all, give them some money. They drop the plants to the dome. And in about 10 days, with 10 guys, they had the dome built. Wow. Personal 
full set of holy cows. You guys are awesome. I'd like to have you on staff. I'm so impressed with them. He gave them a permanent job here at Lowell Observatory, building things for the observatory. So, they built the dome, but of course they did not build the dome with tires. tires. So, how did they rotate 